Hey guys and welcome to my August Blu-ray haul video and um, this month I've got four Blu-rays to show you guys. Um, I think I've got a good mixture of movies. I've got like a couple of court classics and a couple of um, modern day blockbusters. Um, I really like these movies. Um, I'm a big fan of all these movies to be honest, especially the court classics. I really like the court classics and um, first up is The Cable Guy. Now, I did not know there was um, going to be releasing this on Blu-ray. I was in h &D and it's got a nice big h &D exclusive uh, label on the cellophane. Um, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a real big fan of The Cable Guy. When it came out, it wasn't really that big of a hit and a lot of people didn't like it compared to like his previous three movies. You know, the Ace Ventura, Dumb and Dumber and The Mask. But I rather like this movie a lot. It can be quite serious in parts and quite scary. Um, you've got the code there, and that's the disc cover, which is quite nice. Um, obviously, the cable guy came out in 1995, I think. Um, directed by Ben Stiller, and uh, stars obviously Jim Carrey, Matthew Broderick, um, Jack Black, Ben Stiller, isn't it? Uh, in parts, I'm trying to think who else. Owen Wilson, because he's on the back there. That's the back. Um, so yeah. Um, Cable Guy, really good comedy. Um, can be, like I said, a dark comedy about a stalker, but <laughs> Jim Carrey's hilarious, isn't it? Um, Hello, Clarice, when he goes to medieval times. So, yeah, um, The Cable Guy, that's one. Next up, I got the new Arrow release of the 1995 classic Ronin. I think this was 95 or 96. Um, Ronin starring Robert De Niro, Jean Reno. Sean Bean, Stellan Skarsgård, to name a few. And, um, yeah, classic um, 90s action thriller. A, a more gritty dra action drama, which that kind of, like, led the way to the more grittier films that you get now, like the Bourne films and that. And and this, I love I love that. I love the Arrow presentations. I love the slipcover. Um, and then, you know, that's that. And the, the back telling you. There's not much on the back. There's a lot of writing. But I, I like the, the Arrow releases because you get these books with great artwork and stuff. I mean, look at that. That's fantastic. Um, and, you know, you got essays and pictures and stuff in these books, which is really good, which is something I, you know, I really like about these Arrow releases. And, 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 and you know, that's the uh, disc. Take the disc out and then you get, like, reversible cover art. And that's the original poster, but I do much prefer this modern one. But yeah, if you don't like that, then that. But yeah, um, and then that's the disc art. So yeah, you know, I, I do love Ronin, a great film. Um, like I said, does it say when it came out? I think it was 1995, to be, to be honest. I don't know, I can't see, but yeah, I think that's two from 95, Cable Guy and um, Ronin. I really like that cover. And then I've got two um, blockbusters from this year. And first up is Saban's Power Rangers. Now, I love this film. I thought this was really good. Um, I'll just take that this little cover off. It's quite shiny and that. But, yeah, really... Um, that's the disc art. I really like the disc art. Yeah, I had a really good sign with this Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It brought back some good memories. Uh I'm not going to say much because I've wrote, I've done a review video, so I'll, I'll leave a link at the end of the, this video for the reviews of the next this film and the next one. But yeah, um, really enjoyed this when I saw it at the cinema, so I thought, yep, I'll get that on Blu-ray. And then last but not least is Ghost in the Shell. Now, as you can see, this is a, an HMD exclusive um, cover art and a bonus disc. There's the back. So I, I really love the, the cover of this, the, all the red and that, and the design, how it was drawn and stuff. Much better than the standard cover art, and then you've got that there. Not much on the disc, but you get, yeah, you get a bonus disc, which you don't get in the standard release, so that's exclusive to HMV. Um, and you get, there's all the extras, if you can see, including what's on the bonus disc. So yeah, I'm a, I'm actually really glad with this. I've I've done a review video of this as well, so I'll leave a link for Ghost in the Shell at the end of the video as well. But 
But guys, I think I've done quite well with what I've got this month. I'm really happy with what I've got. Um, really happy this month. So let me know down below, guys, what do you think of what I bought this month? Do you like the films? Would you get these on Blu-ray? Like and share my channel, guys. And remember, stay heroic.